everyone, I'm Elise from iThemes, and I'm here today to talk to you about Gutenberg Blocks. The new Gutenberg editor for WordPress uses blocks to create the content of your pages and posts. Each block adds something different to the content. The blocks in Gutenberg are broken into different sections. The sections are Most Used, Inline Elements, Common Blocks, Formatting, Layout Elements, widgets, and embeds. Most of these sections have a number of blocks in them, so we're just going to touch on a few of the newer blocks. In the inline element section, there is currently only one block. This block allows you to select an image from your media library, and then you can add text to the side. This displays your image on the left in line with your text. For those of you who would still prefer to use the classic editor, there is a block for that in the formatting section. This allows you to create your content using the classic editor that you're used to in WordPress. The table block, also in your formatting section, helps you create a table in your content. Once you have selected the block, you can enter the number of columns and rows that you'd like, then hit create. Once it's created the table, you can start adding your data. One of the new features you'll find in the Layout Elements section is the Media and Text block. This block allows you to select or upload your media and then add content to the side. You can easily switch sides between your content and your media. Another cool new block in the Layout Elements section is the Button block. The Button block allows you to add text to your button, paste in a URL or search one on your site currently. You can also use your settings over here to select a background color and your text color. You can even use your alignment options to align your button where you'd like it on your page. Also in the element section, you now have a columns block. This divides your content into two separate columns. The last section is the embed section. Here you have a number of options you can use to embed content into your page or post. For instance, the Twitter embed. If you want to add a tweet to your content, simply click the Twitter button and then paste in your URL. Once you've pasted in your URL, just simply hit embed. All of your embed blocks are going to work the same. You simply copy and paste your URL in and then embed it into your content. WordPress 5.0 is due to be released this week with the new Gutenberg blocks. Since these blocks are still in development, they may change between now and release. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope to see you again soon. Bye!